Where did that girl go? visitor I heard about. Enjoying the view? Hmm? What is this place? What'd you do to the professor? <laughs> Who are you? Your expression. It's priceless. I love the look of fear in your eyes. <laughs> going on? Why are you doing this? <laughs> You're such an idiot. Let me spell it out for you. You're gonna die. What? I don't want to die. There has to be a way. Oh, quit trying to act calm. It's that girl. Ha <laughs> ha! So you're the visitor I heard about. This guy's no fun. I'll kill you first! <laughs> Run! Pretty face of yours to pieces. <laughs> I prefer you do that. You're. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to explain. Leave now, and I may spare you from any bodily harm. Ah! Is that a freeze? You are correct. The Lord of Fire. I can't believe you were able to summon him. I'm so this is experience. Whoa. I told you to go home. Don't tell me you live here. No, of course not. I'm sorry. Uh... Uh... Is this the work of the Spyrex? The... what -ix? Could it be connected to the disappearance of the lesser spirits? Huh? You're losing me. Disappearing spirits? You really need to go home. Someone might not swoop to your rescue next time you're in trouble. Spyrex must be somewhere else. Hey, wait! I'm kind of trapped here. If the professor were with me, they might have let me leave, but... Can I come with you? <laughs> I see. If you stick with the person who saved you, then you won't need any more saving. Clever boy. Boy, you don't look that much older than me. My name is Jude Mathis. I'm Mila. Mila Maxwell.
My hands are still shaking. And for good reason. You were almost killed. I'm a civilian. Why would she attack me like that? I don't think she's part of Rashigal's army. If she's not a soldier, then what is she doing at a military facility? An ironic question for you or I to ask, don't you think? I see your point. Did you... did you kill her? I'm not sure. I tried to go easy on her, but humans are so fragile. I keep having to tell the Four not to overdo it. I'm not really following you. Hmm? What's going on? Our Lilium orbs are shining. I've been wondering what this thing is since I set off. My handmaid told me I had to carry it with me. Well, it comes in handy if you face monsters. It gives you the power to fight them. I got one myself when I left home, just in case. So, that's how it works. This is actually my first time developing it, too. I see. So it's a tool that taps into inherent abilities. I imagine that powerless humans never leave home without them. You talk as if you're not human yourself. Are you finished here? Huh? I assume you had some reason for coming to this place. I was worried because Professor House hadn't come back. But he's... One of the people who died while connected to that machine? Yeah. I can't believe it. The Professor had been so excited about the request from Orda Palace. I see. Hmm? Yes. Yes, I suppose so. Huh? Oh, wait for me! My sword rings true.
Watch out! Demon fist! Demon fist! Demon fist! Alright! Alright! Attack! Here we go! My sword rings true. Well, it must be pretty weird having the same name as the Lord of Spirits. Not at all. We are one and the same. I'm sorry? I what? Come on, you're totally human. You... look just like a normal woman. I would hope so. That is the form I created for myself. The form you created? <laughs> So you're that, Maxwell. Lord of spirits, ruler of elements. You don't believe me? A person claiming to be a spirit? It's a bit much to swallow. Then how do you humans prove your identities to each other? Well, by showing identification, I guess. I have a medical school ID card. Oh, then I doubt that I'll be able to prove my identity to your satisfaction. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to apply for a spirit ID card. Is it really okay for me to be following this person? wanted to live up to Professor House's expectations, but now he's dead. Hmm. What? What are you doing? I'm cuddling you. Uh, why? I read it in a book. When humans are upset, they feel better when you cuddle them. What book was that? A mother's eyes, a mother's touch. That sounds like a book about child rearing. I'm not a baby. This technique has no effect on you? Humans are so complicated. <laughs> well, I guess I do feel a little better. Thank you. Hmm? So it does work. Excellent. 
Wait, doesn't this lead deeper inside? We're not heading to the exit? No. There's something seriously wrong here. Shouldn't we get out? I'm aware of the danger, but there's something I must find. I'm afraid I can't escort you out before then. Sure. After all, I was the one who asked to go with you. <laughs> What's so funny? It's nothing. When my business here is done, I promise to see you safely out of here. There's no need to worry. Thanks. Healer! Onward. I won't let anyone down. You seem to know your way around a fight. Yeah, I studied self-defense when I was a kid. They say that even the best trained soldiers may panic in the face of actual combat. Yet you seem completely together. Well, I had a friend I trained with who used to shout sparring time and attack me out of the blue. So it's probably thanks to her. I see. I'd always wind up on the ground covered in bruises. I'm sorry to dredge up such painful memories. What? No, it's not like that. Don't all bullied children say that? Bullied? That's not what... Wait. Was it? My sword rings true.
Spyrix's weapon. I knew it. The Lance of Kresnik? That's the name of the sage from the Genesis Age. Huh? What are you doing? So this is what humans call irony, naming this weapon after Kresnik. Listen up, we must destroy that which harms man and spirit. Those are the four great spirits. So that really makes her Maxwell? Try and stop it! Do you know what you're doing? That's it. Mila! Look down! Huh? Stop! Or you'll be dragged in with it! Spirits? Wait. Take Mila. And then run? Huh? What? What are you trying to do? Well, this is an epic fail, people. I thought I had the mic on. 
Well, I hope you enjoy um listening to their stories. Sorry that I had the mic off, but later on today, I'm uploading another part on um, three. So please um, check it out. I don't know, but I think this game is going to be a long game, and I hope it is. Again, guys, sorry about that, but please check out the video, next video, part three. It's going to be uploaded today. Later today, around like six o'clock. Oh, let's check this out. You okay? Guess swimming isn't one of your powers, huh? It's not as easy as Undine makes it look. So you really have lost the power of the four great spirits. What are you gonna do now? There's no way you could destroy that device without their power. You have a point. Perhaps if I were to return to Nia Kara. Listen, you've been a great help, Jude. Thank you. You should go home now. Wait! Mila! How foolish, Jude. You should have gone home like I asked. You in cahoots with her? Yeah, man, you got a problem with her, you got a problem with me. What? Haven't you ever wielded a sword before? Of course. But I always relied on the Force power to guide my arm. It feels quite different without their help. Come quietly or else. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, man, this girl gonna get me locked up. Bam, bam, oh, shot. Whoa, yo. Oh, damn. <laughs> I forgot how you do um... that. Oh, well. This girl gonna get me locked up, man. I'm telling you. Come on, you tired of fixing it. You saved me again, Jude. Thank you. Listen, you'd better get out of Fenmont while you can. Right. You have my gratitude. The city entrance is always crawling with police. You'd be safer heading to the Sea Haven. Hmm, the Sea Haven. Wow, she don't know where she's at. You Just help don't know her where road. it is, do you? This way. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, put you in this situation. It's okay. Besides, I still owe you for saving me. I'll show you to the Sea Haven. Hope you enjoyed that game. The sea Haven is on the opposite side of the city from here. Sorry about having my mic off. The Central Plaza first. But the next time I will have it on. Thanks, guys, and please hit a like and subscribe. Stay tuned to the next one. Part three will be uploaded later today.